I want to teach kids the Christian truth. If you want to reach those kids on the street, then you got to do a rap to a hip hop beat. What's up everybody, I'm Rupert. I'm Charlie. And we're the Abertons. And welcome back to another episode. Today we're making a delicious Southern American dish. It is shrimp and grits. Shrimp and grits. And if you haven't heard of it, then I feel sorry for you. I haven't made it before, so I hope it goes well. We've never made this dish, but we're going to try it. This dish, it originates from the south of the US, around South Carolina. US and Bay, baby! Woo! Step one. One, 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 one. So basically, what do we do first? What we're going to be doing for our shrimp and grits is we have gone for like 600 grams of shrimps, grits, or prawns, however you say it. These are tiger prawns. These are tiger prawns, and I've gone for the shell on, and you'll understand why now. Basically, <laughs> what I'm saying. Cool. We're all waiting. I can't pronounce my words. I have 600 grams of prawns with the shell on and the reason why I've done that is because the shell and all the heads have so much lovely flavour in there and we're going to basically be making a prawn oil and a very quick and simple easy one. You don't need to roast it in the oven or anything, it's just we're going to be taking all the shells off, taking the veins out, cooking the prawns separately to garnish and then this prawn oil you can keep for loads of other dishes like ramens or stir fries or whatever. So. Really quick and easy. So, with your prawns, basically, we're gonna rip off the head and you're gonna see like all that nice fat in there. That's exactly what we want. And then using your finger, we're just gonna take off our legs, like so, just running down the belly. And then, until you get basically that, which is where you've just left the tail on, and you can use that for temporas or stuff like that. We'll take the tails off as well until you're just left with the body. And that's it. Right, so now that we've de-shelled de -shelled our prawns, what we've done is we've kept the body separate. Do not throw these away. And we've also got our heads in another bowl. Do not throw them away. Okay, so we have, yeah, the heads. So what we're gonna do basically, in the head is all the like delicious fat and all the brain stuff and basically it's just all that amazing delicious flavour. Um, so even just frying these up in a pan now and just eating the heads is just absolutely amazing. I don't know why people get freaked out. But with the prawn head we have a little bit here and you want to grab where the eyes are. And basically we're just going to pull apart the little shell bit, if you can kind of see, I'll put it on the board. And we just want to just try and release that brain bit. Just like that. Okay. So then that shell goes in there and then basically all this is exposed and then that goes in there as well. So it's all going in the same bowl? It's all going to go in the same bowl. I just wanted to keep the heads separate because if we put it all in the same bowl we'd be digging around for the heads and this just makes it easier. Exposing the brains. <laughs> <laughs> They're literally like aliens. We're de-scalping the fucking string. You know, like that scene from Inglorious Bastards where they fucking. I want 100 Nazi scalps. <laughs> I want 100 shrimp scalps. Ooh, that's a bingo. So now that we've kind of massacred these, continuing on with step one, pan on heat. How much olive oil is this? This is 600 mils of. of uh, We're doing 600 mils of oil. Yeah. Oh, okay. 600 mils of oil. You can use veggie oil or you can use, yeah, olive oil. I'm using olive oil because why not? And that all goes in there. Not smoking hot, but we're going to get it hot. And we're going to get it hot, nice and hot, nice and hot. And then we're going to add all of our delicious prawn heads and shells. We're going to bubble it up, leave it on a simmer. Once it's simmered for a couple of minutes, cool it down and strain it, get rid of it. No, that. you can strain it straight away and then it's done. Basically, also, this is another good tip, sorry, I didn't mean to touch you there. Tip. When you pour in the prawns, it's gonna, it might bubble up and spit a little bit. So with a sieve, you just put it on like that and then that's just gonna sort of stop it just from like 
coming into your eye and stuff like that. Cool. Because if you put a lid on it, that's we don't want the, the sort of moisture to sort of drip down back into the oil. So you want it to like evaporate all the moisture. And um, so we're just basically left with like, yeah, some nice kind of crispy richness. Let's cut to that B-roll, Joe. So continuing on with step one still, um, what we've done is we've now infused that oil, lovely. What we're gonna do this, put that to one side, and when it cools, we can then strain it afterwards. Mm. So moving on with our prawns, and that oil is still gonna infuse as it's cooling down, which is what we want, as much flavor in there as possible. I wish you could smell the aromas, because it is fantastic. That's I also good. opted and just put a few like dry chilies in there, and like some garlic cloves as well. You're free to put in whatever you like in there as well. Can you just stop waving that really close to me? Yeah. Don't. Sorry. Moving on, we're gonna start. <laughs> De-veining our shrimps. So, on the board. On the board it goes. And basically, you're gonna just run the knife down the back, exposing that poo sec. It's in there. Oh, these are tiny ones. Very small poo sec right there. It must have gone to the toilet. And then basically, you just kind of scrape it up with your knife. Just like so. So, I'm gonna try and find another knife. You just sort of go around, and then, yeah, you can see it there. Can you see it in there? Yeah, I can see it. And you just kind of use your knife, and you just kind of lift it out. Well, you just kind of scrape that out. There you go, boom, you can pull it out. So, it takes a bit of work, but it's worth it. It's worth it. So, the prawns have been deveined. We've slammed those into the fridge, ready for future use. And now we've strained our lovely prawn oil. It's got a lovely colour. This will keep for, yeah, like, you know, however long. I'm not really sure, maybe a couple of weeks, but it's amazing for loads of other dishes and a great way to use those shells rather than just discarding them. So, oh, it smells so good, smell it. We're gonna put that to one side, and now we're gonna crack on with the Step heart two. and soul of the dish. Step two, it's our grits. Let's move on. So step two, moving on to our grits. So there's a bunch of ways you can kind of do this. Well, maybe a couple, but if you've got, basically it's all down to the grit. So we're kind of just using is a cornmeal, but if, say if you have a coarser grit, then preferably you want to site those overnight and then you can just kind of bring them up, uh, you know, you can set them overnight, change the water, bring them up to the boil and then just kind of cook out that way, like you'll get a tastier, you know, grit as it will just taste of grit. But with the cornmeal, which is kind of how I've seen most people do it, is using sort of two cups of stock and two cups of milk, and then bringing that up to a simmer, and then just adding in our um, one and a half cups of cornmeal, and then we just mix that through until it sort of thickens into our porridge. Perfect. So on a medium. So we've gone for vegetable stock, but preferably use chicken stock if you have it. And then that goes in, and then we're gonna go straight in with our two cups of milk. And we're just gonna mix that through until it starts to come to a nice simmer. And then basically, all it is, is just adding in our cornmeal and then watching it just thicken up as a nice tasty porridge and we're gonna cook that out. Also, which is the best as well, Bay leaves, they sort of originate from everywhere. Get a couple in there. They just taste so much better with them in. Mm -hmm. So, as that comes up, in our bay leaves. Also, you want to go in with a pinch of kosher salt. And of course, some freshly cracked black pepper. Quite a fair amount of black pepper. And that's it. And then we have a delicious, tasty base. Perfect, so now that we've added in all of our cornmeal to our sort of simmering milk and um, stock, it's gonna sort of thicken up. If you've cooked polenta before, it's kind of fairly similar to this as well. So we're gonna season it as we go, and we're gonna cook it on a really low heat for about another 12 to 15 minutes. And then that will bring us to step three where we will finish off our grits. Which we're gonna be finishing off with some grated cheddar cheese. You can use any cheese that you want. 
this is gonna work well and some butter and then maybe like you know half a cup of cream as well just to make it sort of extra indulgent you've got to keep stirring this otherwise you'll burn it yeah you don't want to burn your grits because then people aren't going to want to come back for it and it's going to suck and if there's a few lumps that's okay we'll just work those out you know that's that's what you do when you find lumps you just work it out right we'll see you in a few minutes and then we'll start finish and then we'll finish it off leave it to one side and then we'll move on to the fun part which is going to be cooking our prawns to garnish we're almost there. So now that we've kind of finished off cooking off our grits, we can now add some butter to it. Just a little bit of butter. How many grams was that? About 100 grams. 100 grams of butter. That goes in. And yeah, that's just going to slowly melt in there and it's going to taste super good. And then, yeah, some cheddar cheese. Just sprinkles that in. You don't need to use huge amount. It's just going to uplift it to nice new levels. Nice. So like if it needs a bit of water or something like that to add to it to get the right consistency, that's or fine. Or cream. Cream butter and cheese fixes everything. So I do put a little bit of cream in there. That's optional. Might be some people watching this being like, what the f*** are you doing? That's okay. This is our version. Yeah, so that's, that still needs to be a lot looser. Because you almost want to like ladle it on. Yeah. You know what I mean? So add just a bit of water to get that bit nice and loose. So, once you've done that, we'll leave it to the side and then we'll go on to step four, which will be cooking our lovely prawns and then finishing it and then garnishing it. So, okay, let's move this to one side. Step, step four. Let's go. Perfect, so now moving on, we have our grits resting on the side. It is delicious and creamy and beautiful. And now we can start frying off our prawns and cut up our spring onions. <laughs> okay, well, so now that our grits are ready on the hob, before we start frying our prawns, we're just gonna really like Fry chop. dice. We're gonna just slice these spring onions just to garnish on top, like so. Probably only need just one. All the way down to the bottom. Knife skills, make sure they're really nice. If they're massive spring onions like this, we cut them in half and then we shred. And this is pretty rapid now. This is just gonna just fucking get in there. Boom. Christ, it's still oh, wasting that moment. There's nothing left. To one side. Those will finish later. Our prawns. Pan goes on. Pan goes on. Prawns come out of the fridge. Uh, select your prawns. You're gonna just do like four. Fucking do. Yeah, four. Oh, I'm hungry, man. Had a couple more. Yeah, we'll go six. Right then, after we're gonna get some plain flour, just a pinch. Or a tablespoonful onto our prawns and we'll then mix those around like so. Boom! That goes on there. We're gonna make sure our pan is rapido hot. Smoking hot. We're gonna season the prawns with some salt. Perfect. And you can use any spices at this point. You can put adobo spices in there, old bay, you can do anything. Anything that's gonna really uplift this to a whole nother dimension. But I'm just showing you the basic way of how we're gonna do this. Is that cool? Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Are you happy? I'm really happy. Are you satisfied? I'm satisfied. Good, good. I'm satisfied too. We're gonna to go in with like two tablespoons of the prawn oil. Dust them off so there's no excess flour and we're gonna go in with the prawns. And these are only gonna take like 15 like seconds on each side. Yeah, baby! And then we're going to get a knob of butter into our pan. Cool. Then we're going to take off the heat. Take it off the heat. Place our prawns onto a plate. And now we're ready to plate. And then, just before, I'm going to go in with a lemon. I can't be this side, I'm sorry. <laughs> we're going to squeeze over the top. Nice. And now we're going to get a serving dish and we're going to plate our grits right now. Let's move on to serving. Right, assembling. 
We have our beautiful grits. Do you want to spoon some in? I'm going to spoon some grits right on. Let's go. Oh yeah, babe. Oh, no, come on, bro. No, that's good. Thank no, you. No, you're going on. Right, it's going on up. Look at me, cover this shirt. Nice. Right, now the grits are on. Go in with the prawns. Prawns go on top. This is a really elegant dish. Shrimp and grits, man. Shrimp and grits. Spring onions. Over the top. A bit of lemon juice. The prawn resting juices. Go in with some extra prawn oil. Just get it going. Nice. Some pig parsley just over the top. Just like so. Or we can even dot it around. Dot it around like. Mate, that is stunning. That is stunning. That is stunning. Look at it. We made it! We did it! There we have it everybody, that is our version of how to make grits. I hope you enjoyed watching it, if it was painful to watch, I'm sorry, we have not made this before, but I think we did a really good job with how it went. Yeah, yeah absolutely, as always, the ingredients are down below if you want to see them. Like, subscribe, push that notification button if you want to see more, get in touch, we would love to hear from you, and we will see you in the next episode. We'll see you in the next one. Lots of love. Take care. Everyone. Teach kids the Christian truth. If you want to reach those kids on the street, then you gotta do a rap to a hip hop beat. So I gave my sermon an urban kick. My rhymes are fly, my beats are sick. My crew is big and it keeps getting bigger. That's cause Jesus Christ is my.